Hi everyone, my name's Lancer and I'm representing Team Oscar with the Virtual World Generator. So simulation, whether it be for education, training or gaming, it is a huge market, but one major flaw with it is that it takes a very long time to generate these large, expansive, detailed worlds. So our client came to us with an idea. What if you could take a video of an environment and then process it to automatically generate that environment and save tons of time, convert the real world into our model to simulate whatever we wanted whenever we needed. So how did we decide to approach this problem? Well, we can represent this as a simultaneous localization and mapping algorithm, or SLAM. Uh, the idea being that you take a stream of inputs and generate a 3D environment, while at the same time tracking the position of the camera while you're recording. We could then use a pre-trained neural network to identify and isolate objects and project these into our virtual representation. Now, we realized that this was a lot harder than these implementations usually are because they make use of additional sensors, such as layers of depth rec recognition. Um, and so we were limited to using nothing more than a smartphone. And one of our biggest issues was trying to determine the depth of these images, determine what is close and what is far. This was one of our early solutions, a convolutional neural network, but the results it gave were all very relative and were not very usable at all. Another method we used was visual SFM. Now, while the results of this were considerably more applicable to our situation, it took one hour to process 280 images. And to put that into context, that's about 10 seconds of capture, which was nowhere near the processing power we needed. So at this point, we took a step back and thought, this isn't going to work. What can we do? So we decided to design uh, a 3D printed case holder for taking images with two phones at once, our stereo image capture kit or stick. And this basically gave us access to uh, depth data and allowed us to start constructing the pipeline around this. Uh, so what is our processing pipeline? We essentially take a video and convert it into a list of frames at the bottom there. And then to this, we compare consecutive frames to obtain the motion of the camera in the world and its position, and compare the left and right images to obtain the depth of, and distance of points in those images. Uh, and then finally, we can perform our TensorFlow neural network image recognition on the frames, recognize the objects, and project them into the appropriate position in the screen. And this was our essentially our final result. We decided to create the models in Unity. Um, the fundamental difference with this project to many other visualizations is that this is a simulation. So the objects here have behavior. You can pick them up, interact with them. Uh, hopefully you saw it working upstairs. If you saw it when it was horribly broken, I can tell you it made a spectacular recovery. Um, you can pick up knives and use them on apples and cut them in half, uh, open and close a laptop. Um, you'll notice here that this seems to be more of a virtual tabletop generator. Uh, that was mostly due to our restrictions with our neural network and the library of objects we had available to us. Uh, the recognition capabilities were very limited, and we only had 20 or so objects that we could use. So how would we go about scaling this up? Well, the neural network and the libraries are completely independent from the rest of our system. So those could easily be replaced with custom models. Uh, as for our primitive stick model, uh, that could easily be replaced with some dedicated hardware um, to capture a stereo image as opposed to uh, our solution, which was syncing up the video over a server network. Uh, and essentially, I think that uh, the project has managed to capture the proof of concept here and show that the virtual world generator that our client was looking for on a kind of commercial scale is possible. Um, thank you very much.